Welcome to Football Fancast. Five things we learned from Sam Allardyce's debut as England manager. A 1-0 win over the dynamic and thrilling Slovakia. Yeah. Thing number one, Big Sam is statistically the greatest England manager of all time. Look, those are the stats. You can't deny the numbers. But sadly, this game was as dreadful to watch as the Euro 2016 one against the Slovaks. Seriously, I've watched baseball games that were more interesting than this. Baseball games. And even though the result was better than last time, it was still a slow possession game that was only won in the dying seconds with a rabble of Premier League megastars playing under par. Which leads us to thing number two. This game had more poor performance than a 2am stag do karaoke session. Harry Kane looks like the same player who was completely burnt out at the Euros. Danny Rose had a bit of a shocker. Wayne Rooney was playing too deep and Sam Allardyce says there's nothing he can do about that. And Theo Walcott, in his first England appearance in nearly a year, played like it was his first football game in nearly a year. He had a shot on goal that was so bad, it almost went backwards, which might be a fitting metaphor for the England team in general. Thing number three, there were some silver linings in the performance like Deli Ali, who had a huge impact when he came on for the last half an hour, leaving many to wonder how Jordan Henderson got in the starting 11 ahead of him. When Delhi was on, the team no longer looked like they were on a Sunday stroll and they actually wanted to attack. Thing number four, Allardyce has an awful lot to thank Adam Lalana for, and not just because he woke us all up in the 95th minute with that winner. His first international goal after 27 games spared the three lines an embarrassment, and the Liverpool midfielder was the most potent attacking option on the field, which says an awful lot about Harry Kane. And finally, thing number five, you may think it's hard graft being an England fan, but it could be worse, you could be Slovakian. Seriously, I'd rather watch James Milner read the phone book than see this team play again. This lineup was even more defensive than the one at the Euros, and during one 10-minute period late in the second half, they went down to 8% possession. 8%. These teams are going to face each other again in a year's time at Wembley. I think I'm going to do an Adam Lalana while watching that one. Could be a lot more enjoyable that way. All right, that's it. Give us your thoughts on Big Sam's international debut at Football Fancast on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. Love to your mothers. See you next time.